Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of March 2022 and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is general so that means it's not going to resonate for everybody's situation, that is completely okay. If you'd like a personal reading, you can find all the information for how to order one with me in the description box below this video. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in this reading because it is general. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what is going on with you. First half of March 2022. For the situation, we have the Eight of Wands crossed by the Knight of Cups. Okay, interesting. Um, there's this huge, huge urge. There's this huge drive is the way it's coming in. Um, it could be that there is communication, but the challenge is this Knight of Cups, like actually um, expressing emotions um, in this conversation or in this talk, if there is any, right? Or it could even be um, acting on this urge for this communication or for some kind of action here. So expressing emotions or actually offering making an offer, basically. That's that's the challenge here. Let's see. I know it's a little bit general, but we will clarify. For your energy, we have the Three of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. All right. Um, I don't know if, for some of you, you may have come into contact with this person or there may have been some kind of um, a coming together, a reconciliation, or just, you know, some kind of an interaction that feels good. If not with the other person, this could be how you've been feeling about yourself, possibly just being um, social even with other people outside of whatever connection you're dealing with here. Um, something though, I feel like something with that, it's, it almost feels like, you know what, you're coming to some kind of an agreement either with the other person or with your own self to just heal, to, to just take a break either from this person or from being very social. So you, maybe you were dating, for example, a lot. Um, some of you maybe even partying and it feels like, yeah, you've decided to take a more practical, a more grounded approach and just kind of rest a bit. Let's see what's going on with them. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be from social activities. It could actually be in relation to this person, all right? It's going to vary for each of you. Um, for them, we have the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the High Priestess. Yeah, so I really feel like this main energy here, it's in reference to the other person here, okay? Unless the roles are reversed for you. Um, because again, I see this drive with this Knight of Wands, right? Some action here. But there's just so much overthinking about that action or about... Um, it, it could even be that this person was very unstable, like back and forth, um, hot and cold but that also creates stress for them. And because there's so much overthinking about how to come towards you, they're keeping quiet with the High Priestess. I mean, the High Priestess can also be a very positive card, so we'll see when we clarify, but let's see the potential outcome here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, a new path, a new path opening up here. Um, a practical one, possibly just, you know, more grounded as well. Let's... Let's clarify and see what's going on here. All right, so for the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Ooh, Justice, the Five of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so this drive that somebody has to communicate, it's like they either want to make up for something, they want to make something right, they want to bring something into balance, 
Um, but I also feel like there might be a decision here that needs to be made and it, that decision is a big one and that is part of the part of the issue here and that decision could be you know just how they how this communication goes how this conversation goes how can they make this right okay um, for others of you it could be something way bigger for and for others it might be something like this whatever the case though there's um, it's like this person feels like they might not succeed is what I'm getting with this five of pentacles almost like they could be fearing that you will reject them or that they will still be left feeling um, alone it is just coming in as this concern about whether they can make things right with you they definitely want to especially with this king of pentacles here um, I feel like there's this need to, to discuss stability because I do see a lack of that in their energy, but it also feels like that's what is needed in order, in order for things to be balanced in some way. Let's see the Three of Cups in your energy. We have the Three of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I mean, it just feels like whatever it is that happened here or that is happening, I say that happened because it, sometimes the, the first cards out could be like, it's like a progression, right? Like this could be the recent past, for example, if for some of you. Time is relevant, so it can't just be one particular timeline, right? Um, for all of you. So take it as it resonates. But what I'm seeing here is that with this um, Three of Cups, whether it was a reconciliation with this person or whether it was um, dating possibly others or just being very social, that comes with some pain. There's something painful about this about that reconnection or about um, going out almost like, you know, if it's the um, second example of being social, it's like something about that just didn't feel right. Or, you know, it may have felt like you were just dealing with people who were not, who were not for you, basically. And so I feel like this is why you're pulling away from that, whether it's from this person, the reconnecting, or whether it's from other people, it's because you want to put yourself first, like this Queen of Pentacles, and be, um, you want to feel more grounded within your own self. And you feel like you need to put yourself first and nurture your own self, and so you're not, you're not allowing others, no matter who they are, even if it's this person that you might still have feelings for, you're not allowing them to put you in this position. Well, Rather, you're not allowing yourself to be put in that position where you're going to be hurt. Let's see the Three of Pentacles. The Four of Swords showing up again for you and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of self-love here that you are either learning or that you are just deciding to engage in. Um, it does feel like there's another person involved here, though that's the thing. Um, it, it's like it is taking some effort on your end, but I feel like there is someone else here. There is someone else. It could be a friend that's helping you through this. Um, oh God, I know there was a, one of the other two fire signs had this Three of Pentacles, I think. Um, whatever the case though, it's like you, you have decided that you are just going to heal, that you are, I mean, even look at this image, it's the nine of cups, which has, um, you know, this is like wish fulfillment, but I mean, just looking at the image, it's this girl taking a bubble bath, right? Really taking care of herself, possibly eating cupcakes and cookies. So that's what it feels like. Like you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to focus on me, take care of me, relax. Relax and rest. Let's see the Four of Swords. 
And I feel like that is your wish fulfillment right now. That's what you need, <laughs> some self-care. All right, for the Four of Swords, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Yeah, and we have the Ace of Pentacles as the potential outcome too. This resting, this taking a break, this healing, whatever it is that you're going through, um, that's moving you towards this new path. And I feel like what you're healing from is some kind of a disappointment. Someone had a very similar reading. I can't remember if it was Aries or Leo, but um, yeah, very similar. So some of you might be dealing with, with one of those signs. And we do also have Libra. Um, showing up here, we also do have some Earth signs showing up as well. Yeah, I feel like, you know, deep down, I feel like this is like, um, almost like a hidden depression. That's what this is feeling like, um, like suppressed depression. But you're very good at fighting it. I don't necessarily feel like you're covering it up. Um, so you, it's not like you're suppressing it more. I feel like you're just dealing with it in a different way. And by focusing on you in this way and taking care of you, that is going to actually help. All right, let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see the Knight of Wands. The Eight of Wands <laughs> showing up again. And the Knight of Wands. Yeah, okay, so the Eight of Wands is the very first card out. So yeah, that's definitely them. Um, they're definitely wanting to communicate something to you. They're wanting to take action or to talk, to have some kind of a conversation. This is a lot of action. I mean, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. This person is like moving very quickly um, towards you. I do still feel like there's some there's something here. There's something here that is really stressing them out though. I don't know how... It almost feels like it's a little bit impulsive, like, you know, they, they, they want to come after you, they want to tell you this, but I, I feel like they don't have everything like 100% sorted, but I do see them getting there eventually because with this Ace of Pentacles, I mean, that's very grounded, right? That's like starting again, but with a very, very strong foundation. So let's see, Nine of Swords. The Six of Cups and the Page of Cups. Yeah, this person is, wow. I mean, this person, it's like they're not able to sleep at night almost, you know, um, because there's so much anxiety, so much stress. I feel like you're very stressed or anxious about how they're going to approach you or what they're going to do about this situation or what, they're, what they should say to you and if they should say something. Um, it's coming in like that. Six of Cups, I mean, that's a lot of um, nostalgia, thinking about the past, wanting a reconnection. It's very clear, very, very clear. All right, Page of Cups, again, um, wanting some kind of emotional expression here, but it stresses them out. It stresses them out. They don't know how to say what's in their heart or they don't know if they should. All right, let's see the High Priestess. The Two of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, they're holding back. Um, at least currently. At least currently. They're waiting. They're waiting before they speak. Um, which is, I know, it seems very contradictory because first part out here, it's like all this action, all this movement. So it could be that they do come forward and then well, they have a hard time expressing themselves emotionally in a way that's going to feel, you know, consistent and stable and, you know, you know, for it to make sense to you. And then because of that, you know, it's possible that this person might get a little bit quiet here, like just not really knowing what to do without that meaning that they don't want this. They do. They do. It's, it's clear as day. Um... There's just an issue here with how they express themselves or it's not even just how they express themselves. I feel like it goes deeper. 
like back to this justice card, like there's something here that needs to be brought into balance or there's a decision that needs to be made. Um, and that could be in some way affecting the way that they express themselves. Like, for example, maybe this person needs to make a decision which they have not 100% made just yet, but they're still feeling this drive towards you and so they want to say this to you, but then it wouldn't be right for them to say this to you when things are not sorted, which is what I was saying a little while ago. So something along those lines. So I feel like that's why they're holding, they're holding back a little bit here. Let's see that Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor. Okay, wow. Um, this is a big shift here. This is a big shift. Something, it's like, something is turning big time. Turning in a completely new direction. And this Emperor, there's somebody here. And it could be this person. It could be somebody new, though, for some of you. Um, coming in and it's going to, whatever it is, it's going to be completely different. Um, again, like it, it's like this new path being set with a very strong and firm foundation. And somebody who really has control over their life and over what they're doing and over, you know, the way that things are happening. But, you know, in the good sense, because we can't control everything, right? But we can control how we react to things and certain choices that we make. So I feel like that's what this person, these are the characteristics of this person. And that is opening up this new path. Yeah, okay, Sagittarius. If this resonated, let's get the final message for you. And we have the mutable moon. Nothing is yet set in stone. Things are still up in the air with this person, um, that's for sure. It could go, <laughs> I feel like it's just, it's not really over is, it, is what this is saying. Things are not yet in stone because it might feel that way, right? With this whole mess going on here. So yeah, sometimes we just need to wait and see, but something is definitely turning in a very positive direction. All right, Sagittarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.